great search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thank you so much, DigiKey. Every single week, Lady Ada is a power of engineering. Help you, yes, you find the things on digikey.com. Lady Ada, what is the great search of the week this week? Okay, this week we had a request to please add a breakout for the ICS 43434, which is like a really satisfying part number. Um, and this is a i2s mems microphone uh stock with digi key and you can tell it's quite popular because they have uh 360,000 of them in stock and that's a lot for any kind of microphone um and i thought like oh maybe we covered i2s mics on the great search we've talked about you know i2s uh, mics before but not looking at the latest and maybe um making a design with them so we actually stock a couple different mems mics and we did a um great search for I, I was like oh did we do this before we did one on um an i2s adc so you have to use an electric mic or, or an analog mic um into this chip to get signal we did um an i2s mono amplifier output and we did a mems analog mic so um the analog mic oh wait what's uh what's what's pop there's basically three types of mems microphones um and mems microphones are preferable to electric because you can they're they're not less expensive but you can pick and place them so there's less hand work and less hand soldering whereas you can't electric mics can't go through a uh, reflow oven you have to get wave soldered so we stock the spw 2430 and this is a fairly inexpensive analog mems mic and this mems mic like i said it's pick and placeable you give it three volt power the output is an analog voltage but the analog voltage is kind of low. It's like 100 volts peak to peak. You'll almost certainly want a um, amplifier chip, an op amp, to go with it to give you like 30, 50, 100 times gain to get you closer to like, you know, 0 to 3.3 volts DC biased analog output. And actually, um, for folks who've been around for a long time, if you remember the video series I did on the design of the Circuit Playground Classic, um, you can see here, there's a MEMS mic, that SPW, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then this is a, I don't remember, it's a TS922 or something. It's like a, it's a low cost dual op amp to create the bias voltage and then give myself some, I think, 100 time gain, maybe 47 times gain uh, into the analog input of the at mega chip. And the reason um, I did this is because I needed a, a microphone. I didn't want to have it and any hand soldering um and the at mega 32u4 does not have pdm or i2s input um that's important to note because preferably you can use a pdm mic and pdm mics are kind of the same low cost as a um analog mems mic but instead of giving you an analog voltage that you then need to like amplify or filter and you need an adc they give you a digital signal output um, and you clock them in and they give you this digital signal output and the digital signal, it's like kind of a funky, it's a kind of it's a, a funky, weird signal. It's the output of the in, internal comparator for the, like the capacitance on the MEMS uh, diaphragm or whatever, or like the, the voltage change in the diaphragm. The, it's a pulse density output. So the pulse width changes with the um analog voltage so let's see if i can see like <clears throat> yeah it looks like this so you get a digital output with zeros and ones and like if you low pass filter that you would get an analog output but you can do the low pass filtering using fully digital um convolution rather than having to do anything analog um they don't have to do any analog filtering so it's like you just and a lot of chips these days, like STMs, NRF, um, RP2040, you know, ESP32, they often have a PDM peripheral, or you can recycle one of their existing peripherals into doing PDM input. You then have to do the filtering, which is a little bit of a pain in the ass, uh, but I've, I've written some code for it that folks seem to like. And then um, you get the output, and it's, it's you know good enough, basically. But... If you want to connect a microphone directly to something like a Raspberry Pi computer um, or another single board computer or another chip that has I2S input, normally you would have to use an I2S ADC and then have an electric mic or an analog mic and then you'd have the conversion to da, da da 
Um, but if you are like, uh, you have small, you want something very small, small space set up. You don't want a separate codec. You can't get microphones that just have pure I2S output, which is like kind of amazing. They basically like slapped a little chip on there that takes the PDM output, converts it to I2S. Cause like, there's nothing like there's a separate circuit inside. They're going to be more expensive than PDM or analog MEMS, but they're much, much smaller and they're really easy to use because there's no I2C configuration of the ADC. There's no analog filtering or op amps. There's no PDM like peripheral and filtering and quantization and convolution. The data comes in exactly as you know needed for almost any I2S input um, and they're ready to go as is. So it's like kind of a trivial uh, setup. So a lot of people do like using these. So like I said, we have the SPH um, 0645. And so this person was like, oh, can you make a breakout for the ICS 4343? And I was like, okay, I can make a breakout. Actually, it turns out that this has the same pinout as the SPH 0645. So it's actually, I'm going to just spin the board over and just place the ICS on it and it should be just fine. Um, but I thought, let's look at other I2S microphones that might be available. Um, so I actually just, I, I kind of, it's an interesting because I kind of went around slightly a different way than usual. Um, so I looked for I2S mics and then, you know, I got here and to be honest, there's not that many, you know, it's, it's kind of like a slim pickings, right? Uh, so I looked for only active and then you see it's, um, there's a couple options. There's the SPH that we know and love, the ICS 4343, which is the requested piece. And um, there's also this other one, which, you know, wasn't clear what the deal is. I was like, oh, you know what? Like, I thought, like, let's check out TDK in Vincent's, um their website for I2S mics and see what's up. Because sometimes when you're searching for stuff, DigiKey like tries to do their best to categorize everything, but it's like it's hard to get everything perfect. So if you if you want to specialize things like this, where obviously they don't have that many options, there's like only five things that they stock. Sometimes I go to the website of the company that makes the thing and then search because sometimes um, it, it could be categorized under a different category. Um, it might have like something that escaped my search. Um, or it could be a special order item, in which case DigiKey will get it for you. You just have to request it. Usually they get it within a week or two. So I found this. I was like, okay, cool. You know, this is available. And then I clicked back on digital mics. Because I was like, well, let's see what digital mics they, the TDK. Because TDK and Vincent, like, they're really good at sensors and stuff. Um, so one thing that I noticed is they said down in the NRND area that um, a couple ICS chips, including the 43432. So, and then... I've seen a few people use the INMP series, but these are all not recommended. They actually recommend the T5838. So I was like, okay, let's go back up here and check this out. So the ICS4343, they're still in production. You saw there's 360K over at um, DigiKey's like super popular um, chip. And then um, with digital 24-bit digital output, which is super cool. Um, signal noise ratio, 65 dBA, you know, some low frequency cutoff. Um, but I was like, well, what else do they have here? So some of these are PDM and some of these are sound wire, which I don't know what that is, but that's not I2S. They only have one, uh, other chip. This is the 5848, which I think was the one, so the 5838 was the one recommended. Just PDM, which is not what I want. So it looks like there's a new chip available coming soon. Let me see it's available on DigiKey Action. Ooh. So it's not available yet, but it looks like I might be able to request it. So I'm actually kind of interested in this chip because you know, making a breakout board for um, that uh, ICS 4343. But it definitely looks like everyone is, like, recommending that um, 
we move to the T53 series and the, 50, the 38 is PDM, not ITOS. So what I'm going to do is this is in production. Doesn't don't know why it says contact us. Looks like maybe it's not in stock immediately. Um, but what I do like is it has a slightly better signal to noise ratio um, and sound pressure level support. So this could be a really nice microphone so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um sign up for stock notification and i'm going to um contact digikey and see if i can get this stopped because i would like to make a breakout with this one so this is actually my pick usually like during the chip storage i'd be like you're never going to get this part but it sounds like it's maybe just a little back ordered um other than that you can also get the ics 43434 um, but it looks like this might be the next generation of, of high quality I2S MEMS mics. So I'm going to get some of these. Maybe in a couple of weeks, you'll see me make a breakout for it. And that's a great search. Where is